from Content Security Team. In this knowledge base, we will discuss how to um, enable HTTPS proxy and detail around it. To begin, the topic that we'll be covering is the steps to enable HTTPS proxy on web security appliance and then certificate signing request CSR option. CSR option was added with the 7.5x release and it provides a little bit more flexibility to administrators how to manage HTTPS proxy. So these are the steps. Let's go briefly over that. We'll enable HTTPS proxy, generate new certificate and key, can download a new certificate to a local machine. Once we download it to a local machine, we can push these that new certificate to all the clients in the network using the GPO group policy. <clears throat> so here's an external KB um, that walks you through a step by step how to most of the administrators are pretty familiar with it. I believe this is a link that I have open here. So here's the uh, how to deploy self-signed roof certificate with the group policy. Uh, you bring that certificate into Active Directory and create a policy once you copy that cert and then push it out to all the client browser in their trusted root folder. Pretty straightforward. Option number, uh, step number five, where we can upload a certificate file and it's matching private key. So this is the essence where um, customers already have a certificate and a private key to them either from a CA authority or in-house CA root server. Um, since this is a lot of detail that it does require to provide some clarity, we will do another uh, video knowledge base to cover this topic. So option uh, step number five, I just wanted to make sure, make aware that that is an option as well. But as we said, we will cover separately as well. Option step number six, where this is the CSR option that was added in the 7.5x release that provides a little bit more flexibility to administrators. <clears throat> so what exactly does this option provide? You can download this CSR, Certificate Signing Request, and then have a CA authority sign this request, and then you can upload it back to web security appliance. It must be in a PEM format as we see it here. And there's a certain place in a web security appliance and we walk through it um, once we download a CSR and see it to upload it. Step seven, um, how can we verify the key length once we have a CSR certificate downloaded you can actually parse that key length uh, from the certificate to see it. So the current option is the 1024 bit is the uh, automatically selected. There is not an option today that administrator can change that, but we will see the detail. And then CSR from the WSA. The apart from taking the CSR, submitting to CA authority, and then uploading back to web security appliance. If for those customers they have CA uh, root server in-house. So for my example, um, in my test I have a Microsoft CA root server in-house generating a CSR from web security appliance and then you can take that CSR and you can generate a subordinate CA and upload it back. So what are the steps included or required? Download the CSR, 
open the CSR in a text editor and I will uh, share mine um, one of the text editor how you parse through the key and copy it then you navigate to your uh, Microsoft CA root server in my example server IP address and then directory select and submit request this is using the 60 base 64 encoded or the option 2 you can use PKCS uh, number 10 and you submit for, for or submit for renewal request once this has happened then you click the certificate template and choose the subordinate certificate authority and then paste our certificate that we copied in step number two then now download your CSI certificate and then upload it to web security appliance um, so these are the steps if you have a CA root server in-house and you can download the CSR from Web Security Appliance and then create a subordinate CA. Conversely, if you have a Microsoft CA root server or other CA servers, you can generate uh, an intermediate certificate that's signed by that CA root server in-house and upload to Web Security Appliance. The, the, the benefit for doing that is your root server already in the client browser so you don't have to perform step number four to pushing this cert out to the clients in the network as I briefly mentioned there are currently no way to generate keys other than 1024 bit but we do have a feature request open where administrator have an option to go for higher bit uh, on a key length. Okay. And then very last part, if we choose to generate just an HTTPS certificate download to local machine and push it out to GPO, before you push it out to GPO you need to have that certificate. These steps provide you how you can download the HTTPS proxy certificates from Web Security Appliance. So, under HTTPS proxy, edit setting, download, rename, copy back. Pretty straightforward. CSR, CER, and then you can install that to a client machine to test it, make sure everything works before you push it all the, G all the clients in the network through GPU. So with that, we'll go on top here and run through these steps. So here's my web security appliance that's currently HTTPS proxy is disabled. Um, and I'm under security services HTTPS proxy. Enable, enable and edit setting. So make sure this checkbox is there. 443. This is the one with step number five just mentioned here. That we can upload a certificate file and the matching key that generated that have generated or created outside the appliance. And again, as we said, we'll create a separate video knowledge base to cover this. So HTTPS proxy port by default would be 443 and here is the option to generate a new certificate and we can fill out the details here. Common name, organization, organization unit, 
country and duration and that's also an optional this option here once you hit the generate it will generate a certificate on the machine and let's do one test lab let's do it 12 months save generate okay takes a little bit Okay, it took a little bit, but certificate and key successfully generated. So it's not done yet. We have to click submit and then commit to change. So before we do that, here are the two options, as we were mentioning. Download this certificate if we only want to do an HTTPS proxy and using Web Security Appliance HTTPS cert. We can download this certificate here and push it out to all the clients through GPO. Here's an option for the CSR. So download certificate for signing request. It's got a um, name of the uh, certificate and the detail will be in it. So demo cert, common name, we said test, organization lab, and we did it for one year from today. So if we download this certificate here, and we'll look at it. Actually, I do have, this is my app that can be used, and it's called small term it works pretty well so file actually open this is the one we just downloaded and this is the actual certificate so this is for HTTPS proxy certificate now now let's take a look at the CSR so this is my CSR, click to download. Once the download is done, we'll go back to our text editor. And this time we'll open. The recent download is this. And as you see, the name HTTPS underscore CSR dash two. The reason dash two, we did a couple of time testing. So as you can see, all these tests. So we'll open this one. So here are more options. What are the other options that we see as we did not see? This is my CSR, HTTPS proxy CSR. Let's run through some of the details. So we called it country is US. My organization is a test. Organization unit is a lab. CN, which is a common name, and I call the demo cert. Here's the key that we were mentioning earlier. RSA public key 1024 bit. So this is the key that currently it's not an option to modify that. So it picks it hard coded in async OS as a 1024 bit. So that's where we do have feature request open to have 2048 or 1024 or any other option for admins to do that. So these are all the common details, country, organization, organization unit, common name, key length. Here's my signature algorithm for encryption. So this is 
signature algorithm for encryption and that's actually the certificate on the bottom begin cert and insert so so this is a CSR that can be downloaded from here and submitted to a CE authority sign it and upload it back where do we upload this back not here so once we get the CSR back from CE authority it will go down here and as we see on user guide does an excellent job in leading you to exact point which is signed certificate to use this certificate first download certificate so that's what he's talking about here submit the request to CA authority right when you receive a certificate upload it here on the bottom of the page and as we all know once you create or enable HTTPS proxy you have a decryption pol policy by default okay, we'll go down here so we did look at the how we can verify the key length from appliance certificate as we saw was 1024 and then this is the feature request as we mentioned earlier So that brings up to um, brings us to review. Let's run through real quick. The steps to enable HTTPS proxy on Web Security Appliance and CSR option. Enable HTTPS proxy, generate a new certificate and key, download new certificate to local machine, and then we can push it out through the GPO policy as we saw um, in our example, this page here. pretty straightforward there's the link and then step number five we'll cover more in depth um, in a separate video KB if you already have a certificate with a private key how you can upload what are the details around it we talked about the CSR option that we can take the CSR, submit to CA authority, get the certificate and upload it back under certificate location or we can take that CSR, go to our in-house CA root server and generate a subordinate CA and then upload it back to web security appliance. That's also an option or uh, simply you can generate an intermediate certificate from in-house CA root server and upload it to web security appliance that's also an option because that intermediate certificate will be signed by in-house CA root server and very last for HTTPS proxy certificate how to download it to local machine and test with one client so you can download and just take that and install it to one of the local machine on a IE browser to restart and test it make sure your prompts are stopped um, for certificate to be not trusted with that that concludes this topic thank you so much for your time have a great day afternoon and evening We'll see you in another knowledge base. Thanks again for your time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.